Hey y'all, I'm Asha. And I'm Sarah. And we're Glendon E Ambassadors. Today we are going to do something we found on the internet called the exchange tag. I just returned from my exchange and Sarah's off on her exchange in a few months. Yep, I leave on January 15th. So we're going to try and answer some questions about exchange. So here we go. I am a fourth year international studies student and I did my exchange at University College Roosevelt in the Netherlands. And I'm in third year of international studies and gender women's studies and I'm going to Université Libre de Bruxelles for the winter semester. Besides the fact that it's required for my IBA, um, I've been to Brussels before and I just wanted to have the opportunity to spend more time there and of course to be able to go and live in Europe for a semester is an opportunity that I'm not going to say no to. Sounds so. good. Yeah, I chose to do exchange as I was applying to Glendon. It was something that really drew me to the International Studies program. The IBA is something that drew me to Glendon. And so I knew from when I was applying to grade 12 that I needed to go abroad. <laughs> I think just being able to spend time getting to know Brussels as a city. I was there previously, but I was only there for about a day and a half. Uh, so don't count that as being able to visit the city. Oh yeah, not at all. <laughs> so I'm excited to be able to get to know Brussels and I'm excited to be able to travel more while I'm over there to go back to places where I used to live um, and visit places that I've never been and I get to go with my best friend. So That's so exciting. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, well, my parents came with me when I left in the summer and I remember it was all just very overwhelming. I didn't know how to feel and what to feel. And, but being on the plane and like seeing it land in Amsterdam was so exciting. I was really looking forward to all of that the Netherlands had in store for me and it was just more of a shock of every feeling in the world than an actual memory. I like waffles in any form <laughs> so I know when I was over there I ate not as many waffles as I wish I could have. <laughs> so I'm excited for that um, and then I'm excited to just eat that food then eat food from places like around. There's so much good Dutch food, but one of my absolute favorites is something called Kapsalon. It's actually kind of Turkish and Dutch, but it's fries and like shawarma meat and cheese and lettuce and garlic <laughs> sauce. And it's so good. Kibbling, which is little tiny fried fish that I would get on Thursdays at the market. Highlights, highlights of my exchange. <laughs> it's a completely French education program and I'm leaving my family behind and I leave my new bunny behind. So I'm kind of stressed about that. Um, and besides like the whole culture shock and being in a new country and trying to figure out how to travel by myself as an adult for the first time, I'm just worried that like, I'm gonna miss all the dumb things at home and like my bunny's gonna forget who I am and like all that stuff. <laughs> and then just the whole like education thing in a new country yeah. is gonna be really confusing. One of the biggest challenges for me was figuring out how to travel by myself because my family always has traveled together and this was the first time I was completely by myself. I realized that traveling by yourself gives you new opportunities to explore what you want. So I think my scariest travel experience <laughs> was I was on my way to catch a flight to Spain on spring reading week and I get an email while I was on the train to the airport that <laughs> your your flight is cancelled because there's a strike. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? Oh, no. I'm doing a political science focused program while I'm over there. Okay. So I'm hoping to do like a lot of electives while I'm there. Like I want to learn Dutch. Oh, do it. <laughs> history of like Belgium and history of Europe because you hear like the North American point of view and mm -hmm, it's like for sure. how we tied into it and you hear like all the key stuff but obviously people living in the country have different expectations for what they're going to teach about their history. Um, and I think European politics would be something interesting to learn mm -hmm. about. I took mostly international studies courses. Um, they do three years instead of four years for their undergrad, so I took 2,000 and 3,000 level courses. Most of them transferred to international studies credits, but I also learned Dutch, and I took um, the Eastern Religions course, which was really oh, that cool. Sounds cool. Yeah. You'll have pictures for the rest of your life, and the travel bug, if it hasn't already infected you, it will <laughs> do it tenfold. I've always loved traveling, but now like I'm itching to get away, to like see a new place um, and just absorb everything that is traveling. Okay, so that's the end of our exchange tag. I hope this gave you a little bit of a window into what pre-exchange and post-exchange is. Where can they find you on the internet, Sarah? I'm on Twitter at SarahMillsGL and Instagram is I'm Sarah Mills.
My blog is sarahmgl.wordpress.com. Cool. And you can find me um, ashacgl.wordpress.com on Twitter, ashacgl, and Instagram is ashamcollins. All the links will be in the description. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below either on our blogs or on the YouTube video, or you can tweet us. Okay, bye! bye.